Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you see there's also empty space here, it's for a reason. I'll be popping up my phone screen over here because I want to share with you and show you 20 of my favorite beauty photographers out there on Instagram that I follow. Um, I think uh, you'll benefit from if you follow them as well, either to get some inspiration or just admire their work or, you know, generally just share love, uh, comments and likes and support them because they definitely deserve some recognition. Some of them are big, some of them are small, all of them are incredibly talented and that's why they made it on my list. Uh, the list is not in any particular order, it doesn't mean uh, the first mentioning is the best and the last mentioning is the worst. Uh, I just put it together to kind of make sense. I selected some uh, commercial photographers, clean beauty, glam beauty and all that stuff uh, to kind of get the mixture of everything uh, so you can maybe find your favorite one from now on. Okay, without further ado, I will just pop in the screen. You don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads. And uh, let's jump into Instagram. So Instagram screen is here. Um, this is my account. If you don't follow me yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at veracange underscore photo. And just, just jump right into the first search. If you know anything about beauty photography or you follow some beauty photographers, you definitely heard about name Tamara Williams, I'm sure. So I'm not gonna mention her. Uh, but start with uh, another one. It's uh, Yulia Kuzmenko. It's actually the photographer I found as, at the first when I started with beauty photography and she was a big inspiration for me when I started in the beginning. Uh, she's amazing. I mean, absolutely incredible. Um, all the amazing work. You need to go have a look. Uh, she's retouched as well, educator. She's working for Retouching Academy and uh, I mean she has some amazing work so definitely definitely worth looking into if you don't follow her I don't know what you're doing then <laughs> next is this guy uh, Lyubov Pogorella um, he is a master of retouching I think his skin retouch is absolutely amazing I mean the detail and everything he has uh, some specific style I think whenever I see his pictures on popping on my feed I know it's from him I don't even need to see the tag uh, probably my favorite picture from him is going to be this one I just love the colors and the freckles and everything so it's completely amazing um, another great photographer that's on my list is Sven Barucha um, his, again, his retouching, it's incredible. Also, his like way this, he sees the light. I mean, wow. Uh, he's definitely one of my favorite photographers. And I was looking forward to see some posts from him. This is, this is amazing, the softness uh, and everything. He does have a great idea, it's very inspirational. Um, I love all his work. He also does some still life photography, uh, some commercial, mostly commercial work and all the stuff. Uh, definitely worth uh, looking into. Uh, the next uh, on the list will be Kate uh, White. Uh, she is amazing. She also has a blog on her website, so you want to go uh, have a look at that. Uh, there's some good reading uh, posts. I favorite, uh, my favorite will be about the makeup artist and how they should put makeup on. Uh, for her, I love her the color palette it's amazing all the brown tones and everything uh, further down here this uh, kind of part is probably my favorite because of the colors and the color grading what she does uh, i'll be looking forward to see her work uh, some very uh, creative stuff some amazing close-ups uh, she also does a little bit of fashion as well uh, i don't know it's amazing uh, similar to kate white is another uh, on the list and that's Jen uh, Werner. Uh, Jen is a German fashion and beauty photographer. I love her, I started to follow her way back. Uh, she does a lot of fashion as well but uh, her beauty work is absolutely amazing and if you like just scroll uh, through her feed you see all this um, light color theme like white, uh, beige and grays and blacks. Uh, all plays together absolutely amazing it's just um, amazing to look at I love it and that's kind of my goal to get my Instagram feed looks uh, similar to this kind of get maintain the 
um, color palette even though all the pictures are very different they still look fantastic together so I love her she's really amazing when we talk about fashion slash beauty there is another one that's uh, definitely worth mentioning and if you don't follow her you should that's Marie photography she um, shoots a lot if you like scroll through her profile she does amazing work uh, her again the retouching and the color grading that's actually her boyfriend or partner uh, does uh, it's like the best top quality uh, but if you scroll through her feed and look at her pictures she always shooting through something so she has this hiding models behind some usually plants or something uh, it's it's totally cool I love it and you can kind of see this is her work because the model is half hidden behind something I love it it's kind of her signature I can say it's amazing love them yeah definitely go check her out um, after Mary there is Katrin uh, Katrina Hildebrand. She is also uh, from Germany, Hamburg, and I started to follow her like way back when she was doing this all like similar to Marie uh, photography, this kind of like swimwear fashion, a little bit of beauty. But recently she is posting loads of beauty shots, and I love it, and especially when she's shooting with this model. Um, she is totally amazing. I mean, I wish I could shoot with her one day. Um, that's probably my favorite picture ever. Um, just the, the light, the model, her expression, the makeup, retouching, everything is absolutely on point. So I was looking for that, uh, her pictures popping in my feed for that reason. Next, um, we can't forget mention. It's Julia David. It's an English photographer. Uh, she's from England. Well, she's not from England, but she uh, lives in England. Uh, I met with her last year on the photography show in Birmingham. She's absolutely lovely. Uh, she was speaking um, at doing some speeches there and she, I think she's one of the best uh, UK beauty photographers. She has some amazing work. I absolutely adore her. Um, she also started doing some YouTube videos, I think, um, if I will remember. Uh, she also does workshops and all that stuff so uh, if you're looking into like learning from somebody top class uh, go ahead and check Julia David out because she's really really good uh, next one I want to mention is uh, Iva Dor uh, when we talked about the maintaining the color theme before she does it extremely well again um, I mean this is a little bit if the top post is not there then it will be all in lines um, that's a little bit disadvantage when you want to post in lines then when you post one then it's all just gonna get destroyed but yeah her work is amazing and also has this um, great color theme and the color grading is always on point uh, I love all her work uh, she does some amazing uh, close-ups as well but some full faces very inspirational I love them next on the list we have Michelle which is my favorite person in the beauty photography I can say uh, she is uh, doing lots of commercial work mostly for Kylie Cosmetics um, and so she shoots some li uh, still life as well as some beauty photography her feed is absolutely like collection of the most incredible images you will ever see on Instagram uh, she is great person as well um, I'm always mm, chatting with her whenever you know there's an occasion for it uh, she's super lovely always uh, want to help everybody she always replies to every message so that's fantastic uh, considering she is um, quite famous and uh, doing this big league photography and big commercial stuff she's still very down to earth and super lovely person so I love her even more love her work even more because she's an amazing person so I think that speaks for itself she has some amazing stuff I mean amazing next on the list uh, will be 
staying in this commercial um, kind of aspect of photo beauty photography so we can um, escape a Tamara aspect and if you're looking into how commercial beauty photography should look like look at her work because this is the example of how it all looks how it's all possible to create uh, if you're wondering um, you know who's who is behind those pictures you see in the magazines and on all the commercials and you you never see any name by those pictures because you know uh, that's how it works in the magazines then Tamara Specht is your girl and go have a look at her profile get some inspiration from how the commercial uh, photography should look like and you know you might get some things published yourself maybe I mean, amazing all the detail fantastic I love it uh, next one that is also a commercial photographer and still life photographer as well as beauty photographer all together it's Mandy Stroller uh, she's uh, from Los Angeles I believe yeah Los Angeles and she does have the most amazing still life photography I absolutely love uh, looking at her pictures because it's just wow it's just so amazing uh, but she does have some amazing beauty shots as well um, I mostly follow her and getting inspiration from her for the still life photography to be completely fair and honest with you uh, but her beauty work is outstanding uh, definitely somebody to look into and give a follow because 5,000 followers does not do justice to Mandy's work definitely okay next um, will be Zoe Zoe I think Zoe Noble. Uh, Zoe has also a YouTube channel and I want to mention this specifically because she has amazing videos on dodging and burning and uh, a retouching process and actually that was the video I watched when I started my dodging and burning journey so um, definitely look into that if you want to see some advanced dodging and burning technique uh, she, the video is very calm and her voice is amazing so it's, it's very nice to listen to and watch um, besides that she has some very very inspirational uh, beauty photography on her Instagram I mean the simplicity it's amazing I have some long exposures I love it I don't want to like talk too much about each of them I think the work speak uh, for itself super simple and effective and powerful I mean that's that's what I like I like simple uh, photography simple editing simple visage simple makeup simple everything that's what I like and uh, simplicity there's a beauty and that's um, that's why I love her so much okay next one uh, I want to mention is my friend uh, it's a local photographer uh, William Clark, he's from Liverpool as well, uh, so um, I love his work and his personally as well because he's amazing but I fall in love uh, with his work because of his lip arts and his lip arts are absolutely incredible I mean he was um, reposting this recently but if you just scroll down to his uh, later work or this one, this cosmic I mean wow, that's incredible um, but if you scroll, uh, we scroll down to his um, older works I mean, from last year or something like that, uh, there's loads of lip arts and I, I absolutely love all of them. And I was so inspired. I was uh, When I saw his lip arts, I started to doing a little bit of lip arts of my own. Um, it was fine for a couple of weeks and then I kind of got bored of it. Actually, I need to start shooting more lips again <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it but yeah William is amazing his work are outstanding he's great uh, retoucher as well as photographer he's this tech guy he's got all the gear and he knows everything everything about everything basically he also has a YouTube channel so go check him out I will link everything in the description so you don't have to like search I'll just put all the links um, down there so you can just click and have a look for yourself um, if you were talking about the lip art, there is another photographer called Alex Malikov. Yeah. And he does have the most amazing lip art you will ever see. 
At least what I saw. Um, let's have a look. This is incredible. I mean, don't you think? But there was one that was my absolute favorite. This one that was my absolute favorite. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Totally. I don't know why I didn't like it before. It's saved back from some of the page because there was they were resharing him or something like that. He does yeah, photography incredible and I don't know, it's amazing. Definitely go and check him out and give him a like uh, and follow and you know leave him some comments, appreciation and all the stuff. We need to support each other, right? Uh, next, um, getting back to UK photographers. Uh, Sarah Brown, mm, you maybe heard of her before. Uh, she is amazing. Uh, everybody's amazing. So I'm, I'm, I think, like, feel like I'm repeating myself, but uh, I mean, this is incredible. She has amazing works. Uh, she works with the most beautiful models. Uh, oh, let's have a look at this one. Wow. All the pictures here. I think this is the yeah, end of 2019 post. So this is all her work from 2019. I mean, wow, amazing! I love her. She's she's very 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 good. Very good. Next, uh, that is similar to Sarah Brown. So if you like Sarah, uh, you'll probably like Jaden Fa as well. It's a little bit more glam. Um, than natural, so she uses uh, lots of props, uh, usually some um, rings or earrings um, and all that stuff you can see all here. So I think of her as a little more glamour beauty photographer, but she does it very well and the texture and the detail is just incredible. You need to go and have a look yourself, uh, but yeah, this is kind of her style very very glamorous very clean absolutely flawless um, oh wow I mean it's a little bit uh, not completely my style uh, but I love to look at it you know I love uh, I'm following her and I'm always liking everything what she posts um, from this series that was something very very inspirational let's have a look a little bit further down because I think it was like last year she was posting it yeah these kind of pictures amazing and yeah, super inspirational very very creative i love it no words <laughs> wow all right after Jaden, uh let's move on to some people that i follow for a very very long time and that's uh kaylee june i hope i pronounced that right uh she also has a youtube channel quite a big one um, I follow her from the times when she wasn't shooting beauty and I still keep following her because I love how she progressed so much uh, how she get from let me just scroll down and I'll show you where she started uh, she also started about two years ago with the beauty uh, similar to like I did so she was before she was shooting more like fashion and all that stuff and then she started uh, shooting beauty November 2018 you see this is a great picture but if we compare that picture to some of her recent works I'll just find one of my favorites from her this one or this one I mean she wow she got so much better she's amazing she has amazing tutorials as well uh, she's from Australia or from over there. She has a lovely accent. So uh, I love watching all her videos and all her photography as well because I mean she's very talented and she it, it, uh, You can see how hard work pays off. So she can be very inspirational for lots of people uh, how she transferred from fashion into beauty and How she does it very well and she's like getting better 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 every day every day every day. It's fantastic. Um, another photographer that I follow for a long time and got incredible journey of beauty photography is Julie Velanska and again she has some amazing uh, photography 
she also learned a lot I can see the progress a lot of it uh, it's just something I'm noticing you know on on people uh, especially people I follow for a long time and I remember their old work and now this work and it's just it makes me really happy that people progressing and uh, if it's, it's so much visible the progress you know I just love it so she has some uh, some great um, beauty photography as well I love this one um, definitely worth uh, looking into she has some very creative angles but uh, she was using some gels recently and I really really love this and that's why I put her in my list because I think it's a good inspiration for all of you to kind of start uh, using some more props or trying to do a little bit more something more creative so her photography with the gels uh, is completely amazing and I love it and something that I'm going to pursue uh, once this everything is over and I can shoot with gels again uh, I was shooting before but it didn't turn out as good you need to kind of have um, you need to practice a lot to get the gels um, on correctly that's why I really love her because her way uh, of the light it's, it's very creative and she shapes the light very very well so um, I love it and uh, last one I want to mention is uh, Sasha Zar and as we were talking about the gels and the creative ones she does it well as well have a look at this it's amazing uh, reminds me of work of Lindsay Adler uh, she's again one of my favorite photographers but she doesn't do solo beauty that's why I didn't put her on the list uh, she does some Sasha Brown now she does some long exposures as well uh, some very very creative stuff that are done in camera I believe uh, and something to you know take inspiration from maybe try it for yourself uh, it will definitely open up new options for you if you just look at through uh, other people's work uh, no need to copy them directly because that's never good to kind of like just copy exactly what they do but get the inspiration from and for example you see some long exposure uh, try to do long exposure yourself it doesn't need to be this exact image but let's just try long exposure you know, if you want to use gels, don't use them exactly like this and use them in some other way, but use them, you know, try to use them. That's the, that's the whole point of looking on other people's work to kind of get the idea of what you can do differently. No, necessarily copy them, you know, because that's never good. And uh, so that's 20. Believe it or not, that was 20. <laughs> uh, but I have some honorable mentions as well, obviously. Uh, there are some pages that share other people's work and it's great to well, get some inspiration from if you, you know, can't remember who shot that and you didn't save it to your collections or something. Uh, then go visit uh, Retouching Academy. Uh, Retouching Academy here. And they share some amazing beauty photography. Uh, oh, this is <laughs> Sasha Zar here, you see? Um, so yeah, they share some amazing uh, creative beauty photography, usually more posts. Uh, so you'll have uh, plenty of inspiration from there, uh, from the Retouching Academy. They also uh, share the name of the photographer, so you can just then go and click on the photographer and you'll find some more and more and more work so uh, retouching academy is definitely the page to research some inspiration and the same as reaching academy there is a seven hues beauty it's a little bit different style but again it's a, a page that shares other people's work So thank you very much for watching this uh, social media video on who I follow on Instagram, my favorite beauty photographers uh, that I follow and support and love the, loving their work. I uh, hope you find somebody who maybe inspired you as well. Uh, don't forget to go there, follow them, give them a couple of likes, a couple of comments, uh, tell them I send you. Uh, and uh, speaking of likes and comments, don't forget to leave a comment and like on this video because it really helps my channel. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads. Uh, next videos I will be uploading will be little like mini beauty uh, retouching series about dodging and burning, micro dodge and burn, global dodge and burn because I'm still getting some messages in my inbox and uh, questions, people still getting a little bit confused so I thought um, I'll create some little more in-depth 
and dodging and burning tutorials for you because obviously that's something where you like very much okay enough talking thank you very much for watching uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'll talk to you soon bye